Let's talk crochet. Hey folks, it's Mary, aka Mercy Triumphs, and this is Slow Crochet. This is episode 077, and I'm just checking in with everyone on the things that I've been working on in crochet this week. So this weekend I did get to travel a little bit. I was working some in the car, but as we were going across the mountains, those are really curvy roads. I don't want to be looking down at my hands too much. So the amount of things I got done is maybe not as much as I would have on a normal weekend, but that's okay. I'm really pleased with what I did get to work on and I'm going to show you those things now. So as of last week, I had one work in progress. That was a wrap cardigan and I did manage to finish that. <laughs> so it is kind of the color blocked idea and it is quite cropped and much shorter sleeves. In fact, in this design, I decided to just do the sleeves in the same pattern as the regular sweater was, rather than trying to do a different sleeve pattern because I knew that I was not gonna have enough yarn in the cream color to do the entirety of a solid sleeve if it were longer in a more lacy pattern. Other ways that I modified the pattern, I did decide to leave a little gap in one side so that I could thread the tie straight through so that when it's on, it doesn't wrap around so solidly. I don't have a random string kind of hanging out the front. Um, I have already worn this top. I really like it. I think it's wonderful as a little cropped piece to go over maybe a camisole or maybe a little sleeveless sundress just one little piece to kind of enhance what I already had in my wardrobe. And with these colors, we're again, finally <laughs> harkening back to the painting there and kind of getting more in a feel of that, uh, this chest is full of memories, that whole sense of the mood board, the kind of inspiration of where I feel I am right now in my crochet journey. So happy to have that finished. Love how it turned out. And now I do not have a sweater on the hook, so that means maybe in the near future I can start working on another wearable. Another project that I did get started and I did finish was one of my corner to corner hats. <laughs> this is one that I made out of loops and threads impeccable. This is the colorway charcoal tweed. And though it is black, it has all these different wonderful colors in it. I did get it from my favorite local Yarny crafty thrift store. Um, but yes, this is from originally from Michael's. I'm not sure the price originally or if this is still available, but I thought since I have a couple of skeins of this on hand, I thought I would go ahead and make up a hat that would be uh, maybe a good unisex hat. I think black with these kind of orange and yellow and even some kind of basic eight crayon colors. This would work for a man or a woman. It would work for a child. Someone would be able to really enjoy this. And since it's black, it's not gonna get messy that easily. And since it's acrylic, it'll be easy wash. So hat to donate there. This one I made out of a 5.5 millimeter hook and it's a little big on me, but I think that's fine because everyone has different size heads. So someone hopefully will find this and love it. I'm actually working on another hat of the exact same pattern. This has become my little go-to, I think. But this time, instead of using loops and threads, I'm using more of this I Love This yarn in the colorway Coffee. So I have a floppy skein of it left, and on this one, I am using a Vintage Boy, a 6.0 millimeter hook. And loving how that's coming, coming along too. It is also a little bit bigger, but I think it's gonna be great again. That brown color would be good for boy or a girl, man or a woman. So this one will be donated when it's done in the near future. In terms of works in progress right now, I have two. And the first one I wanna show, I'm kind of running through an idea that I have in my head. So this one is using two yarns from my stash that I kind of didn't know what to do with. One of them is in a really pale kind of yellowy green and the other is this gold and brown and kind of cream shimmery marled effect. So this is what I have going on. What I'm doing to make this little, well, I think it's gonna be a little scarf, but it's a linked treble crochet little scarf or neckerchief, if you will. And I'm just interspersing some bobble stitches throughout and I'm using quite a small hook for it. I'm using, I believe it's a 3.75 millimeter, which is pretty small for me. If you have looser tension, you'd probably wanna use an even smaller hook than that, but this particular yarn 
even though it says it is a DK weight, I was finding that it wasn't really giving me the coverage that I wanted unless I went down that many hook sizes to something, in my opinion, quite small or quite small for me. So this one is a little bit slow going because it is a lot of linked trebles, which take a little bit more time than say your basic double or single crochet, but I am enjoying the process as I'm thinking about it as I go. So this one is a work in progress. I hope that I can finish it because if so, I kind of want to finalize the design. It's something that I was wondering if I could find pretty easily. I didn't see any patterns already out there for it, but just kind of figuring out where I want the placement of the little baubles. You know, the basic, the basic idea of the stitch pattern isn't hard. It's just kind of figuring out the math about where I want all the little baubles to fall. So that is a work in progress there. Um, when I'm finished with it, I'll tell you a bit more about the yarn. Yeah, I've, I've misplaced the ball bands on these. Otherwise, I would give you a bit more information. But before I finish it, I will make sure I find those in case you're interested in these particular yarns. The other project that I have started this week, if you saw my video about the trip to the alpaca farm, I did indeed start with some of the yarn that I was given to make into a scarf. Here is how much I've gotten done. So this is just kind of a basic leaf pattern by my Pico. And I'm really enjoying how this yarn is playing out. You see the black with the lighter blue and the kind of true emerald green in it. And it gives this beautiful effect. When I saw that, I thought, you know, with all the different kind of puffs and almost the roving kind of effect of some of that yarn, I knew I wanted that very basic, simple stitch going on. So for this one, again, I'm also using that same hook, that F hook, that 3.75 millimeter, which again is pretty small. And when it gets to those little places where it's a little bit thicker and more of like a roving kind of puffiness to it, I forget what those things are called. But when it gets to those places, it is kind of hard to work the hook through, but not nearly as hard as it can be working amigurumi. So actually compared to that, this is pretty smooth sailing. It's about a six row repeat, which is not bad. I can just put a stitch marker where my repeat begins and then I can kind of count up. So it's coming along quite quickly. I have a little bit more left of this hank and I think based on how, how long we are now, I'm gonna use all three hanks to do this scarf because that way it'll be nice and long and drapey. Yeah, I don't even think it'll require blocking. I might end up coming back down and kind of solidifying the um, the edges here when I'm done. But other than that, I think it's really lovely. It's super soft, super cozy already, and I'm really happy. I think that my friend is really gonna love it. And I think it's just the perfect combination actually of the yarn and the pattern. And all the patterns that I mentioned today and anything else I mentioned will be always linked in the description so you can find that information there. Y'all, I always feel like I'm talking so fast in these things and maybe I am. Maybe I'm just kind of coming through it kind of quickly. I don't really have a whole lot on the hook right now because we are kind of settling in after a bit of a trip. And actually, after I finish filming this, I'm gonna do another video to tell you about that trip because I had a lot of fun there. So let me go ahead and wrap up for right now, go ahead and wrap it up right here. Big thank you to all of my subscribers, everyone who has come along for this wild YouTube adventure that I'm on. It's been a joy to be part of your life. And I really do appreciate everyone who likes and shares, comments, and subscribes, all those things that the algorithm kind of tends to gravitate towards. So all of that, super encouraging, not necessary, but I certainly do appreciate it. I hope that you always know that even if I'm saying the same words over and over, I do mean them every time. I certainly do appreciate y'all. And it really is an honor and a joy to be part of your life. If I'm not your cup of tea, however, thank you so much for listening this long. I really do appreciate you. I do. <laughs> and I hope I'll see you again soon. Bye.